Hi, Leo. Welcome into a brief next 48 hour tarot reading for you. I'm um, doing a bit of a flip out of the deck. We have the Six of Wands, the Page of Wands, the Star card, as well as the Three of Pentacles. I love these energies for us. It feels like a time period for you where you're victorious and you're gaining what you asked for. All right. You're gaining what you wanted um, and maybe even still want uh, to an extent, if not fully. I do feel like this could be an ending for somebody. It could be a beginning. And for a select few, it's an ending and a beginning of importance. But I feel like you're heading towards easier times, towards more victory once again, towards uh, a lot of easy accomplishments. And I do feel as if there's a release coming to be. This could be a creative release. You know, say you're dancing, singing, maybe creating art. Uh, you could be, um, okay, speaking in a very creative and releasing kind of way. But I do feel as if somebody is, okay, exercise is what I'm getting. But um, I do feel as if this is a time for you where you're meant to begin again in a sense. All right. For somebody, this is a release uh, when it comes to a negative spirit. It could be more in regards to a negative energy or two or a bunch of neg negative energy uh, in your life. Uh, but any little stumbles along the way in the next 48, just expect a lot less of which moving forward. All right. That's going to look, look and feel differently for every Leo drawn to this reading. But I feel as if there's a focus on you being noticed, all right, for some being discovered. This could be online, it could be in person, it could be both. But I feel like people are paying attention. But what you pay attention to in the next two days and surrounding it, I want to say even more importantly after the fact, right? I know we're talking about the next two days, but um, they're saying it's even more important when you pay attention to and notice after the next two days. Um, there, it's going to hold a lot of significance, all right? I feel like it's very spiritually guided. It's very much speaking upon how you're changing and maybe even in regards to what there is to look forward to. Um, as they just push for my voice to sound like it's echoing, um, from my perspective, I feel as if uh, there's a focus on you being noticed for your Leo voice, regardless of where Leo lies within your chart or maybe even in regards to who you're here to uh, cross-watch for. But... I feel as if you are shining in the spotlight, all right? There's spotlight attention taking place, there's spotlight victory, and there's spotlight uh, potential, or star-like potential, better put, that people are now seeing within your aura, okay, your energy field uh, in regards to your work for some, maybe a hobby or two. But I feel like you're very expressive in the next two days, you're very uh flowy is what i'm getting you're flowing with your own energy you know the ups and downs the twists and turns of it even the ups and downs and the twists of turn twists and turns of your own individual leo life and path and this is helping you easily adapt adjust and accomplish again with a sense of ease um left and right but i want to say as well you're getting to know yourself better all right it's as if it's like even the annoyances, even the difficulties help you get to know yourself better as you change and grow continuously. It doesn't feel like a new uh, beginning. It might be a, maybe a spark within that continuing process, um, a new kind of change or two, but either way, it feels like that it's a continuing development of your soul and, and whatnot, you know, on a core level. But it, it just feels like everything about the next two days and surrounding it helps you, uh, whether you realize it or want to... Uh, be one with the fact or not, it's helping you get to know yourself better. And this is of key importance for all that lies ahead. All right. We can't help, uh, help but get to know ourselves better when things just dramatically change at certain points and uh, that comes with and is intertwined at certain points with you gaining what you want, right? Whether it was an ending and or beginning once again. Um, but I feel like there are benefits in the next 48 that need to be noticed, appreciated uh, with a sense of gratitude um, to the point of you knowing for whatever reason or reasons that there's going to be a hell of a lot more of that moving forward. Now, I feel like the Leos drawn to this reading do uh, really feel the effects of energy. Whether you want to label it as that, uh, be one with that or not, um, it feels as if energy, whether it's somebody's, that situation, it could be movement, all right, noise, uh, even objects for some energy affects you all right and it's going to be highlighted and noticed at certain points or one particular point in the next two days look at this it's time for you to gain justice because i feel like you've been put through a lot of bs all right um and that's obviously going to be uh, different uh kind of bs uh varying from soul to soul from leo to leo 
but I do feel as if the justice that you're gaining is at least partially, if not fully, um, a part of you gaining what you want, all right? Um, it, it's as if there's more than one person at a distance regretting what they did to you, all right? Um, obviously not everybody uh, you know, who does a Leo wrong or somebody wrong in general is going to have guilt or feel bad about it, right? But it does feel like at least one person, if not a couple or a few, uh, feel regret, okay? Maybe because you're shining in the spotlight, maybe because uh, there was a lesson or two taught to them or they were reminded of it in a different light um, or the same light once again. But the Hermit card speaks upon you in our energy, the Strength card. It speaks upon you being one with your alone time uh, to such a beneficial extent, all right? It's as if you can't help but want to keep to yourself at certain points, even when you could be connecting with people, even when you're maybe working or uh, gathered in a situation with other people or somebody in particular. And it's this feeling of you uh, even gaining knowledge about how you're growing, changing, and maybe what you want slash need, or, or, and, or and or need, excuse me, um, due to that disconnect. Um, but there are also uh, there are also maybe a couple moments, if not several moments, for some where you connect with people, even experiences, accomplishments, and that teaches you uh, this and that, that of importance. But as energy, you know, in my field is uh, definitely affecting me at this point. Again, it's reiterating that things will affect you. But it's what you do with that, it's how you adapt, maybe even delay uh, that's going to be um, up to you, okay? That's going to help you. It's going to maybe even benefit what you were trying to accomplish uh, or connect to in the moment. But the Five of Pentacles speaks upon you feeling maybe a sense of lack, all right? But it feels more so that this is reminding you in the next 48 who you shouldn't be wanting to reconnect with. Uh, or maybe what you shouldn't be uh, reconnecting with, or maybe who and what um, that is just not beneficial for you, okay? It's as if you see people's true colors and maybe the true intentions of that person, place, uh, or whatever it may be for you, and it just feels like it, this is meant to be, all right? You're not meant to be feeling as if you're hidden in the dark when it comes to intentions and the reality of things. I'm being drawn to the word real, okay? I'm hearing you're a real one, okay? You're a real one. And so this definitely is intertwined with the fact that you see things in a very accurate light. But also I feel like being drawn to this reading, and this will be a part of the next two days for you, you feel things accurately, very intuitive, all right? At times gifted and granted a feeling of importance and of reality, by a spirit or two, if not several, it could be your team, uh, plus one or two others. But I feel as if you may be feeling quite secretive, all right? At times it may be a time for you where you're reminded of or have a moment or two where you're very vocal and share something even when you don't mean to, and at times maybe when you do mean to. But for the most part, I feel like you do feel the need to in the midst of a lot of uh, noisy energy, or even in uh, times of solitude, you feel like keeping to yourself. But if you notice the feathers in this imagery, it's going to be one, if not, uh, yeah, it's going to be one of the many ways or just the one singular way that spirit says, we have your back. Even if you're somebody like myself who has felt a lack there of spiritual support at certain points or in general, or w rewinding back, I, you know, it could com come in uh, moments when you were stumbling, when you felt uh, neglected, when you uh, maybe had difficulty in your life. Um, or were stabbed in the back is what I'm getting. Anyways, as we go into detail uh, unnecessarily, the point is spirit's going to remind you whether it's a, f a feather, excuse me, or something else in your world, you are protected and guided by the spiritual realm. 909 and 910, look up those angel number meanings. But the four of swords, again, protection, all right, support and guidance through it all. When you have the time to rest your big loyal Leo heart, um, and energy all the meanwhile, please do so, all right? Don't give yourself a hard time, okay? And don't uh, overdo it. There are times when you know that you should be resting and you keep things going. And that includes times when you're scrolling or clicking on social media when you know you should be sleeping, taking that nap or just maybe doing nothing. Um, but self-care is also part of the next two days for you, all right? At 9.50 as well, look at the angel number meaning. And 222 and 444. Wow, so angel numbers will be a part of the next two days for you. 
where you feel like you don't have knowledge, you're going to be gaining some in the next 48, not everything you need to know for the future um, and about the past, but you will be gaining more. People are going to be viewing you as a wise owl, okay? Somebody who has a lot of experience, knowledge, and even spiritual uh, experiences to back up what you're uh, supporting and connecting to, accomplishing even, or jumping into for some. But to wrap up this beautiful next 48 hour reading for you, it's a period of victory for you, all right? It's a time for you to gain justice and it's a time for you to get what you want, all right? So I hope this is truly helpful. Sending you so much love and light. Don't forget to book a personal reading with myself. I will see you next time.